Julio Sosa is an icon in Uruguay's gay community. Better known as Canela or Cinnamon, the 79-year-old has danced at the front of carnival parades since the 1940s, dressed as a woman. Sosa doesn't call himself a transvestite. He says his act and elaborate costumes hark back to carnival's roots in the African traditions known here as candombe. Everyone takes part. White, black, gay men, lesbians, transvestites, everyone. I'm an authentic candombe dancer, and I've been true to that for 60 years. Canela broke taboos in conservative Uruguay, but that role cost him dear. During the 1973-85 to 85 dictatorship, though Carnival was one of the rare arenas where dissent and sexual difference could be expressed, Canela himself was detained and tortured for his political views. The dictatorship looked badly on everything. Of course, they looked badly on me. So did the Catholic Church. They didn't like black people dancing in carnival either. They said it was sinful. Now Canela is a star, mobbed by fans and photographers along the parade route. He leads Tronale Tambores, one of 39 groups of dancers and drummers hoping to wow Uruguay's carnival judges. Even after 60 years, Canela has lost none of his energy and enthusiasm. It was wonderful, a beautiful parade. The judges clearly agreed. Tronale Tambores won the competition title for the second year running.